To launch an emulator, click on the Tools option, click on Manage AVDs, and you will get a new window. In this window, on the left side, you will find an AVD name, target name, platform, API label, and CPU AVI. I've already created one Android emulator before and which is already listed in here. In this video we will create another emulator from the scratch. So to create a new emulator click on the new button and it will provide you with a new window. Here on you're gonna have to give a name to the Android device. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to give it a very simple name so I'm gonna give it a jelly because jelly is actually the new version and which is recently introduced now I'm just gonna select the device you can select whichever device you want and whatever you prefer the best I'm gonna select 3.7 WVGA 480800 according to the resolution which is recommended and preferred. It depends upon your resolution as well as upon the APIs. So it depends whatever device you select according to the resolution. Third option is a target. So what is the target? Target should be an API label 17 and not less than this but if you have installed also the API a 15 14 or 13 you can also then select it from this list view but if you have already installed only one API that is 17 and as well as the latest version so we will select and we will go on with Android 4.22 API level 17 so I'm just gonna select API level 17 and then gonna switch to the CPU ABI. This option is used for providing an acceleration especially for graphics. So graphics acceleration is very important and if you just click on it you will find two options one for ARM and other is Intel Atom. Both are platform specific. If you are using Intel of system then you should select Intel Atom. If you are using systems other than Intel then you should select ARM like AMD processors so I'm just gonna click on ARM and then keyboard and skin as from its name it is clear that it provide the keyboard and it provide to you choose the skin color of the emulator number option is back camera back camera allows you to take a picture from your emulator so if you just click on it you will find two options emulated and webcam zero so I'm gonna click on em webcam zero because it will emulate the my webcam my computer webcam as an em a camera of emulator but first of all I'm gonna leave it blank because I really don't need a, a camera right away but if I need it then I'm gonna have to edit the changes and select one of the webcam the next option is memory option so what is memory option and it clearly says that it is actually referring to RAM size so what does the emulator would have is the emulator would have a 512 RAM and a VM heap means that it is used for its the virtual machine garbage collection the next option is internal storage internal storage refers to the internal memory of Android emulator so it is 200 which is recommended and the other one is SD card SD card refers to external storage of Android emulator and we can select a size of 5 so it is giving me an error that is SD card size is invalid and ranges 9 MB to 103 GB so you're gonna have to give the range between these two limits so I'm gonna change the MB to GB and now we have an external SD card of 5 GB the last option is actually an emulation option 
it provides us with two options that is snapshot and use host GPU so what does snapshot mean snapshot allow us to start the emulator from the previously left position let's suppose that you have left the Android emulator in a position and just quit it with a snapshot enabled when you come back on another day and you open the emulator you will find the emulator from the same place with a snapshot enabled so it will save you a lot of time because usually a normal emulator is taking five to ten minutes to get started and if you select a use host GPU it will help you in graphics acceleration it is specially used when you are dealing with games and you are running games in emulator it is preferable and recommended to run games in a real Android device but somehow if you really don't manage the real device then you can use use host CPU to accelerate the graphics while using games so by keeping all these options in view I'm just gonna click on OK button and it will begin to create the emulator but I've already created the emulator so I really don't need to create another one so if I just click on this emulator and click on start I'll be confronted with different options so my resolution is 480 and 800 pixels if I just click on the scale display to real size then it will allow me to choose the screen size of emulator in inches I'll change it to 7 because 3.4 is a very small size and 7 would be providing it with a different and a good view it will be almost covering that kind of area which is actually twice of this window so wipe user data means to remove all the preferences and data which all the applications have used in the emulator and as well as remove the applications too launch from snapshot and save to snapshot as from its name appears it would be definitely clear to you so if you click on the launch option the emulator would get started and it will take round about five to ten minutes in order to properly launch in the window